first company, Indian wine company, was Andage, and they have now almost gone out of sight. And this company, Grover, was the company that took over from them. And there's now a new kid on the block, which is Sula, who has about half of the Indian wine market. But Grover are still making good wine, but they're no longer the power that they were. So very good color. I mean, a wonderful, fresh, slightly citrusy yellow color. I mean, pale yellow, very good. I mean, I love that color. That shows you right away that it's a fresh, young, yeah. young wine. And the nose, it's it's very nice, but it's not kind of really expressive as you would get in a Sauvignon Blanc. I think it's quite expressive enough. Do you? Because I find the New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc is too expressive. Too piercing. In the sen piercing. Yeah, in the sense that the, the, the whole Sauvignon Blanc thing originated from the wines of Sancerre and Puy mm. Fumé in the Loire Valley. And they have quite a delicate, well, they have a pungent mm -hmm. aroma. I mean, the, the French... The word Sauvignon Blanc came from the French vin sauvage, which means sort of aggressive wine. And so basically the aroma of a Sauvignon Blanc should just bounce out of the glass. You right. don't have to try very hard. But the aroma of a Sauvignon Blanc should be elderflowers, white flowers, white currants, maybe red currants, elderflowers. It should be floral mm -hmm. and not delicate. That's not the Sauvignon Blanc's expression, but it should not be overpowering. And I find a lot of New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are just too obvious. So for me, I like that nose because you don't find it very expressive. I find the discreet, the discretion mm -hmm. of that nose exactly what I want. I think that this is probably a nod towards the old world Sauvignon Blanc uh, then. Rather, yeah, they're not yeah. going for the new yeah, world yeah, express. Yeah. People like that a lot, but I guess yeah. this is more of an old I like, world I really gentle like that. style. So that has a sweetness in it or a richness which I don't particularly like in Sauvignon Blanc because it's not what Sauvignon Blanc says to me. However, that is a very, that's a very nice wine. Mm -hmm. It's much better to go that way, to have a little more residual sweetness and roundness than to go the other way, mm -hmm. to strip the wine. Yeah. And I, I feel like this wine as well, maybe, um, I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm really impressed that they're kind of going in their own direction. They're not mm. mimicking New Zealand. No, they're no, not quite yeah. mimicking yeah. Sancerre either because of that touch of sweetness. So it's yeah. kind of... Maybe if they follow in this way, this is um, an Indian style of Sauvignon Blanc with that touch of sweetness. I entirely agree. That's very good. That, that is, there are Sauvignon Blancs made in the more New Zealand style. This is certainly, this is quite a complex wine. Mm -hmm. And it's obviously spent a long time on, and it, it, it's, yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot of work has gone into that wine. Yeah, definitely. I think it's quite impressive. So that's, that's good. Click on the bottles that you see for an individual tasting review by Stephen and myself.